rusting is one of those things that's so easily overlooked. It's so easy to see rusting as taking time off, uh, taking a break, which it is. But for people who uh, are struggling to have uh, discipline in life and struggling to control themselves and uh, apply their energies to good work, we are so used to taking time off, relaxing, hanging out, that resting overall really sometimes just seems like one of those extra activities. It's like, uh, it's like dessert. It's like dessert, you know, it's like, well, it tastes good, but you don't really need it for your nutrition. It's just an extra bonus and one not to be indulged in too much. And yet at the same time, I think we all understand the value of rest, the necessity to have good rest in order to be able to keep going. It really seems to be a commonplace in our culture uh, that, and an understandable one, that there's a focus on doing work or among people that aren't interested in work. It's about active partying, having fun. So really it's work and fun. And resting really gets, <clears throat> really resting really gets the short end. Uh, doesn't get the same intensity uh, of appreciation often. But, of course, I don't need to talk about, you know, why it's important to get a good night's sleep. We all know that. Um, and once again, this is cliche tube. Uh, it is speaking the obvious tube. Uh, it is simple and perhaps obvious statements uh, that simply hit me with their importance and in this case it just hits me that I need to keep reminding myself of how critical resting is and I look at it in two two types uh, or two grades perhaps of, uh, of resting that we have there's the regular everyday resting uh, and that's getting a good night's sleep that's every night being able to put work down being able to put problems down put thoughts down and simply have good night's rest every single night whenever possible to recharge um, and all the different practical factors that go into setting that up to making that possible to removing all the barriers to that simple, the supremely simple activity of quietly lying in bed for many hours doing nothing. Uh, the, all the logistics that have to be set up to make that possible, clearing the time and space and the conditions to be able to have those hours of rest every night. And that's the everyday rest. And what I'm thinking about today is a kind of deep rest, a kind of taking a break uh, that is beyond the regular night's sleep. It's like when you get that deep 
night's sleep where turn off the alarm clock uh, and just let myself have as many hours as I can possibly have the, the, and the feeling of there's a certain feeling that, that brings just the feeling that it's time to make that break that punctuation mark uh, in the passage of time I find it useful at a kind of season break as the seasons turn as there's a particular milestone reached a certain landmark where our minds are readjusting to a new mode that this is a good time to allow this full system shut down just put things in order to have nothing no, nothing scheduled nothing needed to be done for many hours have the time to settle in and just let myself have a deep long sleep and I guess what really makes it what really makes it different the extra ingredient is just this this sense of completely letting go of everything in our mind uh, all the thoughts uh, all the the atmosphere of thinking the various background thoughts the loose end tasks in our mind and letting all these go so it is like a complete system shut down and then just letting myself rest as if it's as if on a regular sleep and maybe this should be the attitude every night maybe to have a deep sleep every night maybe that is the ideal maybe it shouldn't just be for special occasions but every night but as I experience it now on a regular night's sleep there's still there's a sense of okay I'm going to sleep I know what I'm doing in the morning I'm ready I, I will be ready to do my tasks and uh, start the next day I'm going to go to sleep and then go into my day but the deep rest feeling is just that I'm done this is I don't even know what I will wake up to tomorrow maybe it's like I, I'll let my my brain state be something completely different my mindset let myself completely reset so that I don't even know I don't even know what state of mind I'll wake up in tomorrow and it doesn't matter I'll let it be a completely new time a new a new phase of phase of life let it be a complete reset so what I leave as an open question uh, is is this is this am I simply describing what sleeping is <laughs> and is this simply a regular night's sleep or the ideal night's sleep letting go of everything having deep rest and starting again new or is there this special occasion of deep rest well either way i'm going to start with one night right now <laughs>